right? You're not just relying on numbers game. If you do a lot and you close a little, we'll try this formula out because you're gonna close a lot of a lot. You know, during this time of year, everyone typically checks out. And today is Monday, November 18th, 2018. This week is where Thanksgiving falls in. And this week actually kickstarts the holiday crunch time of 2018. Now, I've shared plenty of content on my channel to help you prepare to overcome these challenges. But if this is your first time witnessing any content from Matt Sells Remastered, I invite you to watch this video the whole way through to ensure that this holiday slump does not counteract against your efforts in trying to keep that winning momentum, keep that positive attitude, and more importantly, keep staying paid and keep busy. Now, here's the thing is that the reason why a lot of us mentally check out is because our environment changes. And what I've done for the first 10 minutes of, of this video, it actually, this is part two, and what you didn't get a chance to see was the video that I shot live. So if you haven't caught me on Instagram yet, you wanna check out the channel, but I'm gonna, at the end of this video, I'm gonna actually upload also the 10 minutes that I took on Instagram Live to show you some of the content that I share typically every morning on Instagram Live. Now, this is one of the very first times I've ever done this, so I want you to, to pay attention and, and actually watch the video all the way through, catch that video at the end where I took on Instagram Live because that's how this content opened up. And that in that video shows you how to hook someone's attention even when there's so many different distractions. And what I talked about are what is distracting everyone, what helps everyone justify as to why they're having a slow time in sales or slow time in business but more importantly the one main thing that actually helps justify consumers reasons to give us kickback or give us reasons why to push us off and this one hook technique is gonna help you capture some business during the slowest time of the year let's go What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. I run an informative sales and mindset development channel all across social media. The handle of course is at Sales Remastered. If this is your first time witnessing any of the content, I appreciate your attention and I thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing this video. More importantly, you're gonna wanna hit subscribe and you're gonna wanna hit that little bell so that you get notified of any content that I do upload as I do also upload premiere videos as well as live sessions that are really gonna help you um, create this positive momentum and impact your day in a more positive way. Now I like to think of Sales Remastered as the new vibe to sales training. And the reason why I say that is because sales training in itself sometimes can be looked at as a boring and dull part of our job, right? Like, oh, here we go, more sales training. But here's a little bit of a different view. It's a little bit different reach and I, and I guarantee you're not getting this right now where you work. I guarantee you right now are not getting these techniques from your own corporate trainer. And how I know this is because I've been in sales for over 20 years and I know one distinct advantage that I have is that I currently do this, right? A lot of times you're probably hearing from a sales trainer who hasn't sold in decades, who does not sell right now, but are trying to teach you sales methods. They're trying to teach you sales techniques. And the, the downside, or I would say probably the, the disadvantage to that is they can't necessarily speak with you with the passion that I deliver here. And the reason why I'm so passionate because I know it works. And so you have two choices. You could take sales mentoring and sales training from someone who doesn't do it or used to do it, but now doesn't. Or you could take it from someone who's currently using it and winning with it. And so I hope to give you some very helpful techniques today that's going to help you overcome this holiday slump. And this holiday slump really does start right now. As I just mentioned, you know, the Thanksgiving holiday season is just kicking off this weekend. Thursday is going to be Thanksgiving. And a lot of our ourselves in general, us as consumers as well as us as, as salesmen, begin to mentally check out. And how we mentally check out is we typically will start basically filtering our focus to other things. And what that focus starts to diverge to is, is the holiday season, the holiday shopping, planning for the holiday season, right? And planning to have family over, planning to what we're gonna buy for our family. And so we have to make room for all these new events and all these important events. And typically what we do is we start to weed out information that's not as important. And this is really why consumers will give you the cold shoulder when you try to connect with them is because all they're trying to do is just keep room for the, the important tasks. There's an acronym, it's called MIT, 
most important tasks. <laughs> and everyone has this, this uh, kind of this tool and we use it all day long. And when, here, let me give you an example of when you use it most. You use it most when you're scanning through your, your emails. And most important task is basically your way of saying junk, 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 important, junk, unread, unread, read it later, right? I'll revisit that later. It, you're basically filtering and, and dissecting your, the information and how you absorb it, like what, what is most important to your time. And MIT is going to be very, very important to practice at this time of the year because MIT, which is most important task, typically need to be done at the earliest part of the day. Like your first couple hours is when you're most prime, you're most optimal, especially if you have been following uh, my morning routine, right? Like every single day when you see me in the gym, like right now, when you see me coming home, this is part of my morning routine. And I actually shared my morning routine with you. Uh, there was the last video posted up. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to leave a card here or maybe a link below in this video. And I take you down a trip on how to create a morning routine because the morning routine creates this momentum and it gets you primed for the day. Well, when you're primed is when you want to focus on your MITs, your most important tasks. And how it, how it translates here into, into, um, into the holiday crunch is because a lot of our competitors have checked out and because a lot of our consumers have checked out, now is the perfect time to actually start practicing. I think I call I think of it as like sparring, right? Like um, you hear me a lot of times in my videos refer to our prospects as the opponent. <laughs> and why I like to think about that is because it ultimately is it's a contact sport, right? That's how I brought I was brought up, you know, it's a contact sport, the more people you contact, the more opportunities you have. And so I, I kind of looked at it as almost like fighting or like a challenge like a chess game. And not like fighting where you know you're an aggressive closer. I don't want you to get Grant Cardone on me. Please don't go GC on me, boo boo. There's no GC material here, you know. Um, and, why, and no disrespect to that man. That man's doing it. I'm not hating it at all. But at the same time, his style and my style are completely different. You know, a lot of the content that you find here is completely different. I'm not saying it's, it's not because I'm in a private jet or whatnot. But what I'm saying is that I'm giving you actual content that you can use today. And um, anyway. The, the reason why it's important to take this opportunity is because it is somewhat slow, right? We gotta accept that. And in the video that I'm uploading, my first 10 minutes on my live in my Instagram, I talked about the number one step in actually in actually overcoming any challenges is, is awareness, is you have to be aware of where the problem roots from, what the problem is, and then you can identify a solution and implement that solution. Well, during this holiday season, it's a perfect time to actually learn new methods, learn new ways, learn a new way of thinking and, and, and operating in a new way. And so typically throughout the rest of the year, because we're so caught up in the hustle and bustle and we're so busy and occupied and distracted from the busyness of our days, it's very hard to implement something new because it's easier to go along on the rhythm that we're most used to. But what happens when you find a new song, when you find a new beat, right? Or when you learn a new move, you're excited to play that new song. You're excited to try and use that new move, right? And so think of it as this part of the year is a good time to change and reinvent yourself. Reinvent the way you operate. Reinvent the way you manage your time. Reinvent the way you, you, you actually hone in your message and attract new business. You see, before, before I started uh, using the techniques that I, that, I sh that I now share as well as have on a training course, is that I used to just go with the flow, right? And, and the problem with that is though, is that I would actually base my energy on everyone else. So meaning I would base my energy on everyone around me. So they would become my gauge, that would become my thermostat, my, my outside external resources. So if I saw people were busy and killing it, that would motivate me to then start getting busy and killing it. If I saw people mentally checking out and going on vacation, I mentally checked out and I started going on vacation. Even if I did, wasn't out of the office, I just was acting like I was on vacation. And so I noticed this because I, I almost relied on external sources, almost like I, I needed them like I needed coffee, right? Just to get in that mood. And not until I made a shift and reinvented my actions and reinvented myself was I able to remaster the process. And how I remastered the process was I basically started from within. I utilized emotional intelligence to overcome most of the challenges that I have. You see, one of the strongest suits that I don't think enough people talk about 
and will give you a supreme advantage over everyone else in your industry or everyone else that you you know you talk to and engage with is having a strong emotional intelligence rule about you right like you have to be aware of how people react emotionally you have to be aware how you react emotionally and there are different types of, of, of cues from emotional intelligence, but I teach you how to sell through emotional intelligence. So if you haven't visited my LinkedIn post, go visit that today. There's a link below this video that goes to my LinkedIn profile. Check my pedigree, look at my background, look at my post today because it, it talked about communicating um, with emotional intelligence. And why that's important is because you're gonna need that during this holiday season. You're really going to need to know how to capture someone's attention. And the best, the best way to capture someone's attention, especially with all these different distractions that are taking place at this time of the year, with all these advertisements, these triggered embedded commands, which I talk about in that video, and it's about to come up, so thanks for your patience. But triggered embedded commands is, is what triggers an emotional response whether it's attention, whether it's joy, whether it's fear, whether it's um, you know anxiety, it, it, it's it, it's these embedded commands that that uh, I learned about in this method called NLP, neuro linguistic programming, and uh, neuro linguistic programming is just basically how the mind works and how the mind reacts, right? It's your it's all about your subconscious, and it's very powerful stuff. And I actually utilize a lot of that technique and show you how to utilize those techniques within my course, The Banker's Formula to Six Figures, because that formula is scientific, right? You're not just relying on numbers game. If you do a lot and you close a little, well, try this formula out because you're gonna close a lot of a lot. And if you work the opposite way, right, because it's for both. So if you don't really like to put in, put out all the work, but you just want to close more of the little work that you do do, <laughs> boo boo, you got to check out this formula because you're going to become so efficient and really maximize the time that you put in, whether it is six hours, eight hours, or 12 to 14 hours, like some of you hungry closers out there. Make the most of your time because time is life, time you can't get back. And speaking of time, that's it for me right now in this video. I hope that you really did catch this video and that it does help you look at this holiday slump in a different way. Now check out the first 10 minutes that actually took place of this video because I'm gonna share with you how to hook someone's attention. Ready? Here we go. And so in today's episode, or at least today my share, I'm gonna help you pick up some business during the holidays. Wouldn't that be awesome? Can you imagine when everyone else kind of checks out and goes low in production? You knew of a way or a strategy to actually increase your business upon what was supposed to be the slowest part of the year? Well, if you want to know how to pick up your business, not only at the end of this year, during these ho this holiday crunch, but also give you the absolute strongest momentum into going into 2019, where well, you're not going to be caught off guard. You're not going to be caught with a low pipeline and trying to rebuild for the first quarter of the year. And I think that's important because more and more of us need confidence. There's a lot of people in sales or trying to originate revenue that I don't give it, think gives enough credit to confidence and how important confidence is. So first off, my first valuable lesson to understand as we go into this challenging time of the year is awareness. Why awareness is first is because you need to be aware of the problem in order to find the solution and then fix the problem. Does that make sense? So when we become aware, it becomes a little bit easier to plan out and strategize. And what we need to be aware about is empathetically, why is it such a challenging time at the end of the year or during this holiday crunch? And what I found in being in sales for 20 years now is the reason why it becomes a challenge is because we are all wired a certain way to justify our shortcomings. And so how it applies to not only us as salesmen, but also us as consumers is starting this week. This week is of course Thanksgiving week, right? Starting this week, we all, including myself, I'm very guilty of this, we all, mentally check out at least for the remainder of the year and why I say at least is because we understand through the changing of our environment through the changing of our scenery through the changing of the marketing ads and all these little triggered embedded commands 
I want to say that again because that's a very important lesson that I think we need to understand. Triggered, embedded commands. And so one of the embedded commands that you're going to see a lot more of in this week's marketing is Black Friday. So whenever you hear the word Black Friday, you think of blowout sale. Some of us even think of that long welfare line that you got to stay in front of you know, the business you know, for damn near days and days on end. But it, nonetheless, it's a triggered embedded command. And another thing is like a holiday special. It's a triggered embedded command because it has you believing certain way and certain things. Now, why it's important to identify that is because as we emotionally and mentally check out at this time of the year, we tell ourselves these embedded commands, such as, uh, it's okay, it's the holidays. And we begin to accept our prospects' excuses. Not only that, but we begin to accept our own excuses as to why we may be going through some challenge. But I really want to invite you to look at it in a different way. Meaning, because we are now aware that most of us mentally check out during this holiday season, this can be either your greatest handicap or it could be your greatest opportunity to capture more and more business. Now, the second thing is I want you to understand that when I say capture more business, I need to be open-minded about that. Meaning instead of always consistently going in for the close during this time of the year, I want you to get used to a method called farming. Think of farming as planting seeds and then letting it grow. Whether you, you sell it at the point of planting the seed or, and you're okay with selling it after it grows. So let me give you an example. So because a lot of our competitors, a lot of our consumers are mentally checking out, what if you went down the path where no one really is? Meaning you took the opportunity to increase your outbounds. You took the opportunity to increase your follow calls. And the key thing is those when you when you increase your follow calls or when you increase your outbound calls, you don't want to increase it in a way where you just go in for the sale. Again, that is deadly. What you want to do is you want to open up the connection in a way that has no friction. And what I found is an easier way around this time of the year is you just call to wish them a happy Thanksgiving week. You call to remind them that after the holidays are done and they spend some valuable time with the family, that you're gonna be checking up with them. Make sense? Because if us as a consumer, and this is where empathy comes in, if we hear a message like that, it's non-threatening. It's okay. More importantly, it makes us wanna comply. Oh, okay, cool, get back to me because I didn't wanna to talk to you anyway. Right? That's what a lot of them are thinking. But here's the hook. You see, when we find their attention, we're able to hook that attention and then sell to it. And so that distraction of a least resistant connection by saying, hey, I just, I'm just giving you a call. I want to wish you guys a, a happy Thanksgiving week. Hope you really enjoyed this valuable time with your family this holiday season. And I just wanted to let you know after the holidays are up, I'm gonna be checking back in with you because there are some exciting changes that are coming up in 2019. And I want you to be first to know who can decline that. And so when they say thank you, this is a, another triggered embedded command. When you say thank you, reciprocity naturally comes in. Meaning they're almost feeling like they're in debt to you. Make sense? Very powerful stuff, right? When they say thank you to you, there's this reciprocity. And all you're using that for is just a couple more minutes of the time. This is where the hook comes in. You know, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and email you a list so you can compare it at the beginning of next year to see what it actually looks like and show you how much of a difference it's actually taking place. And so when you send them this report and it shows them what you know property values are going for, what local houses sold for within that time of the year. And then let them know that it's because of the holiday crunch, sales actually slowed down, but wait till I show you this same report next year. 
And so when they're willing to accept that report, how you go in is, well, let me go ahead and actually tailor it out for you. So the information that you read or that you take time to look at is most applicable to you and your situation. So it's just, it's real easy. Let me, let me hit a few buttons and this is gonna actually apply to you more. And the question is, how do you actually apply it to them more? And that question in itself becomes then your hook. And that, my friend, is where you get the attention. You can you could say, you know, what's more important to you? Monthly savings or paying the house off faster? You can now start talking about other things like their plans for the holidays. And it becomes easier to make that connection. So before this room fills up, I want to wish you guys a very, very happy Thanksgiving week. And if you want to catch a full video of this, go to my YouTube page at Sales Remastered. There's a link in my profile just right here. If you click on the link, it'll take you to my free script, but more importantly, to my pages. And that's where you can watch the full video. I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Let me show you everything I know. Jump.